Just how closely are you, you awaiting the names of uh, those on uh, the ICC list, looking to see if top officials are on that list because it would affect sentiment and, of course, the coalition government in a very big way? Uh, thank you very much, Alicia. It's always, it's always a pleasure. Well, just as you noted there, well, our market has been very, very sensitive to the political climate. And uh, as of now, there has been a lot of uh, focus on what is going on in terms of the ICC and the developments thereof. And uh, that will definitely impact our market in the sense that uh, looking at the political scenario with the elections coming up in two years' time, there's, uh, there's definitely a very sensitive uh, uh, position as of now. And especially if it affects some of the key figures that we might be ex uh, expecting to be running for presidency. Well, until we await the release of that document or, or that list, uh, market activity seems to be pretty muted. A lot of activity centered around the KPLC rights issue, though. Are you all at all surprised at the kind of uptake we're seeing on that front? Well, looking at uh, KPLC and the, uh, the fact that Kenya Power and Lighting, looking at it from a historical point of view, has been one, one stock that many, many investors have been very keen about, especially in terms of their dividend payout, as well as in terms of their position as a monopoly in the industry. Well, that positions them very well. And looking at the affordability of the stock as at now, especially the rights issue at 1950, is creating a lot of interest, especially among retail investors. And that could be one of the reasons why you're seeing the market being a bit stagnant, because you're seeing a lot of selling, people getting out to be able to finance the rights. And uh, also the publicity that's being given, there's a quite a, a bit of a campaign about that and also because of that and looking at the potential that the stock might have creating a lot of interest in it and it seems, seems to be stealing a bit of the show and it seems like it will keep us busy for most of uh, this month which areas are we seeing capital moving most aggressively away from though to facilitate this participation in the kplc rights issue well, looking at it in terms of the financial stocks, we're seeing some of the stocks struggling. Uh, Equity Bank, we're seeing it uh, struggling at 26. Yesterday, we saw Cooperative Bank dipping significantly to 18.05. Also, stocks like, uh, for instance, Safaricom, which we hope maybe will be able to close the year at a bit of a high note. We're seeing still, a lot, see, still seeing a bit of selling. And also on the industrial stocks, some of the ones that we're seeing going down are uh, cables and, uh, and such, which we're seeing people really opting out and thinking about whether they can be able to take advantage of uh, the KPLC rates. While strong uptake coming through on that front, Deacon's not as lucky. We had uh, the goods retailer failing to meet its target of 800 million shillings, but managing to raise around 700 million shillings and increasing its shareholder base to meet the threshold for listing. First up, what did you make of market reaction to its capital raising initiative? Good observation there about uh, Deacons. Basically looking at it in terms of the approach that Deacons had, one of the things that I guess uh, was a bit of uh, not very clear about it is the fact that the information you are getting is that it is an IPO and uh, most of the local investors know an IPO to be meaning a listing in the market. And because of that, we didn't get a lot of publicity about it. And also looking at it from the time, from the approach of a private placement, which would be more more of the strategy they should have been taken out, uh, be considering what would, would, would have expected is for them to be able to get a pricing that is fairly good enough and also try to market it to the, a very good niche and uh, the reaction as you are seeing there is also a bit of a concern in terms of the performance of the company because uh, I guess in terms of their strong earnings that was one of the things that people are looking at and uh, in terms of their future prospects which are fairly good I guess people are looking at it historically and a bit concerned about whether the retail market still presents an opportunity in Kenya but hopefully if they venture into the region it's going to still create an opportunity for them so if at all they're going to be able to list it might create a bit of an interest in the stock mm -hmm. as otherwise as at now I guess it's more of them to be able to make do with what they've been able to raise. 